Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set your Moultrie deer feeder. And I'm gonna be using the Pro Hunter 2 in my video. This should work depending on which feeder you've got because all of the new Moultrie feeders have this same timer mechanism. So even if you don't have the Pro Hunter 2, you've got the Ultra, you know, the uh, Pro Magnum Super or something like that, you're gonna find that they all have this same timer. The difference is gonna be the housing and then how many batteries the feeder can take. So the first thing that we need to do is if we want to set it, we're going to press the program, but you'll see that there's a display here that keeps cycling through. It's going to show you how many days you have until your feeder is empty, your current time, and then how much feed is in your feeder. This we can set, and the current time we can set, this days remaining is a calculation that the timer is doing based on how much feed you've set is in your feeder and how much you're throwing in your timers. Let's talk about the timer. We can throw up to 10 different throwing times. Each one can be self-adjusted. So if you wanna throw one of your timers for 10 seconds, but one of your timers for one second, or maybe you're a hunter and you wanna throw 20 seconds in the morning, but you're not interested in throwing in the evening, you don't have to do that. Maybe you want it to throw uh, 10 different times just one day of the week, you can totally do that. Uh, aside from the throwing time and the number of seconds, you can also adjust the broadcast rate. So when that spin plate spins, how strong is the spin? That will equate to how far will it sling the corn per throwing time. We're gonna press the program button. When we press it once, you'll notice your hours will start blinking for your current time. You can press up or down. To adjust it, you will see the AM PM indicator letting you know which value you're in. Set your hours, hit the right arrow to move your minutes. Set your minutes. If you need to go back to the hours, press the left arrow, and that's how we set our time. If we press program again, it will say the current day. You'll notice up here, I'm not sure how well you can see that, showing Saturday. I can simply move over and choose the appropriate day of the week. Press program again. It will take me to how much feed is in my feeder. So let's say you just put 100 pounds of corn in your feeder. You would move this down to set it to 100 pounds. This is important because this is going to be what tells you how long you've got until your feeder is going to be empty. So I'm going to set it to 100. Press program again. It takes us to our first timer. Not sure how well you're going to see that blinking up here. It says timer one. I can move over to timer two, timer three, four. You don't have to start with number one. If you want to go to timer six and set that one and not set timer one, two, three, four, five, totally do that. Again, 10 timers is going to be your max. I'm going to go back to timer number one. You'll notice as I'm cycling through these, zero seconds basically is letting you know that that timer is off. So for me, timer 10 is off, timer 9 is off, timer 8 is off, 7 is off, 6 is off, so on and so forth. Once we get to timer number two though, it's set to throw for 15 seconds at 6 p.m. every, or at least those days a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not Wednesday, that timer is on. Timer number one is set to throw just on Wednesdays and Thursdays for one second, that timer is on. For whichever one you wanna adjust, all you're gonna do is while it's blinking, you're gonna press the down button to move to the first value you can change. If I wanna change my days of the week while they're blinking, I'm gonna press program, and now I can choose to change my days. You'll notice it's set to set, if I press down, Wednesday is no longer set to set. If I move over, it is no longer blinking. Thursday is no longer blinking. So if I leave it like this, it's not gonna throw on any days of the week. I can go to whichever day, press up, that turns it on. I've got it set to throw on Sunday. I can set it to throw on Sundays, Wednesdays, and let's say Saturday. Once I'm done, I'm gonna press program. It takes me back into my timer one. I've successfully adjusted the days that timer one will throw. I'm gonna move down to my time. What time does thrower number one throw on those days? While it's blinking, I'm gonna press program. I can adjust the hours. I can move over and adjust the minutes, just like we did on our current time, but we're adjusting our time for timer number one to throw. Once we're done with that, we're gonna press program. It will take us back into our timer one settings. And now we're gonna press the down button and we can adjust our spin rate. You can see that it's currently blinking, it says to high. Again, if I wanna adjust it, I press program, I go in and adjust it to either medium or low. Set it the way you want, press program again, it takes us back into timer one. I'm gonna move over with the arrow key 
to how many seconds will timer number one throw. I'm gonna press program and again I can go in and turn it off. One second is the minimum it will throw. 60 seconds is the max. I can set it anywhere in between. So let's set this just for kick's sake to 25 seconds. We'll press program to go back. So on Sundays, Mondays, and I'm sorry, Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 1.17 p.m. it's gonna throw for 25 seconds. Now I can go back up to timer one, and if I needed to set a different timer, I can do it. If I'm done, I can basically do nothing and it will kick me out. Three days a week, it's gonna throw for 25 seconds a day. And then uh, for six days a week, it's gonna throw for 15 seconds a day. Once we're done, I'm gonna let it time out, kick me back out to my settings. We're gonna see my current time has now been adjusted. 100 pounds has been adjusted. I've only got 10 days remaining because what it is doing is it's saying, look, I've put 100 pounds of corn in my feeder and I'm gonna be throwing for that much time. It's only gonna last for a few days in order, it's gonna last for 10 days before my bucket is empty. That's how we set the uh, timer. The only other thing we can do is we can press the test button and we can choose how many seconds do we wanna do a test for. So if we wanna see what is one second how much is one second when it spins? Or let's just do five seconds or four seconds. Press program, I can adjust my spin rate. So if I wanna see what does it spin like if it's on medium broadcast, press program again, it's counting down and it's gonna do a test for us. So that shows you how long would five seconds be on a medium broadcast. Pretty simple stuff, once you're done, basically you just sit there and the screen is always going to be on. Put your cover back on. If you've got the uh, Pro Hunter 2, if you've got one of the other ones, you'll put your appropriate cover back on and we've successfully set our Moultrie deer feeder. I hope the video helps.